And welcome back everybody to Party God Douglas Plays. Today we are going to be playing the new, I guess, demo for the upcoming follow-up to Undertale called Delta Rune. And naturally I would have just started from the uh, game start screen, but this agreement here just it unnerved me so much and I wanted everybody to make sure that they saw that, hey, uh, it's still a very self-aware game because this this is what you get to see right as you go to start the program. And I'm not sure if it was also built in, but I had a lot of trouble getting it started initially because my Windows Defender kept acting up, but I don't know if that Windows Defender being too, like, overly cautious or what. I don't think Toby Fox is trying to implant a bunch of viruses in my computer, but we're going to see. So I'm going to agree, and if everything goes wrong... You'll all be here to see it. Oh, got to do all this. Yeah, we'll make a desktop shortcut as well. Yeah, that's good. Fortunately, everything should move very fast. So we'll get into the game quick. Finish. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. Oh. Oh dear, it's already starting. I thought it would take a little bit. Y yes Maybe? I don't know. No! Oh. I guess we are. Let's see. That's unnerving. I remember playing Undertale. And now I'm worried what Toby Fox has been cooking up his sleeve for the last, like, what, four or five years? We must create a vessel. Oh. Select the head that you prefer. Oh. A little bit of character creation. I can always get behind this. My favorite is this, because it's a... Well, hmm, maybe this? This one, because it's a little aged and scraggly. Select the torso that you prefer. Okay. Oh, wait. So long sleeve, two stripes. Short sleeve with two stripes. Big, thick sweater with two stripes. Bigger, thicker sweater with two stripes. Zip up hoodie jacket. You got it. Gonna be the coolest kid on the block. It keeps asking me for very specific... These are all just the same. Huh. Maybe that's part of the message. And we'll go with these. Why not? It's all the same. Yes. Probably. Um, see, I'm worried because I know I know most of these are most of this is going to have some sort of impact on me later on. Thanks. Oh. Okay. So, what is your favorite food? Sweet, soft, sour, salty, pain, and cold. First of all, it's not flavor, and we're gonna go with salty. Your favorite blood type. Now, D is not a blood type, nor a C. I'm already concerned. I'm gonna go with my blood type, which is AB. I don't know if that's too personal to reveal online, but... I'm not super popular yet, so everybody can know that. AB positive. I can take everyone's blood. What color does it like most? Uh, green. Definitely a forest green, if you want to be more specific. Please give it a gift. Kindness. Mind, ambition, bravery, voice. Kindness. How do you feel about your creation? Love, hope, disgust, fear. Uh, hope. Have you answered honestly? Yeah, definitely. You acknowledge the possibility of pain and seizure. 
That's a clever way of, like, putting forth a warning there. So, uh, yes, I do. Be safe, everybody. This is gonna be... This will be a little bit hard on the eyes, apparently. We'll put a warning before the video. Name your vessel. Well... How many slots do we get? Does the back... Okay, let's see how many slots we get. Let's see, that's nine slots. Ooh, it's not a lot, but... Playing one of the Doki Doki mods that I've played, I think I mastered how to, like, do this successfully, so... Uh... And R... No... It's T-Y. R, T... God, so G, D. And A, G, L, A, G, L, S. There we go. Pretty good. That's, and that will be me. Okay. That's unnerving. You guys can't see it, and I'm gonna get the webcam back eventually. Uh, probably after a few episodes. This is my first session, I just wanted to make sure I dug into it a little bit. Uh, but my hair started standing on end as soon as it asked me for my own name. Because, a uh, little fact about me, Doki Doki Literature Club is quite possibly the worst kind of horror I have ever experienced. I can't do deal with that existential psychological horror nonsense and the moment that game told me my name well, not just my name but my nickname and I know that it's just using the name of like your computer I'm gonna call it avatar I know that's the wrong word I know it uses that name but in that brief moment for that slight second when it used the nickname that only my close personal friends call me I was deeply unnerved I'm going to give this game my my real name and I'm gonna hope that that doesn't come back to do something similar because I will not be doing okay if that happens. Yeah? What if you lie and later on it comes back at you? And it's like, that's not your real name. Your real name is this. And it tries to use your computer name like... Doki Doki does. Chris. Okay. Huh. I wonder what the significance of that is. It's almost an anagram for Frisk. Almost. Which, Delta Rune is an anagram for Undertale is the first thing I noticed whenever I saw that the game was coming out. Chris, if you don't wake up, we will be late for school. Well, this is not canonical to the playthrough that's currently going on this channel. It is going to be a little canonical to the playthrough that, it, that I did solo, because I spared everybody. I spared everybody out the get-go. So much sparing went on that I only had to do the secret lab in order to get the true ending. I, I did my best to not kill anything whenever I played by myself, but... Brandon's the master of his, own, of his own destiny, so I'm not going to stop him. I will wait outside for you, all right, my child? All right. Oh, jeez. So, immediately, the thing that I'm noticing right out the get-go is that... You're probably obviously Frisk, but you're called Chris. I guess Chris is like your actual name because I don't think anyone actually knew your name in Undertone that I'm thinking about it. I think they all just called you Kid or Human. And you never gave them your name because I think you 
as your own character are going through something. Quote unquote, you're having to deal with the Kara side of you. But the thing I'm noticing right out the get go is that you're wearing pretty identical clothes to that of which Kara would normally wear uh, in like the genocide route or the pacifist tainted genocide route. Which has me believe that this game is going to deal with you dealing with your inner demons. I, I all in all, Kara. I think this is just a demo, but I can't wait for the full game to come out. And <laughs> we'll definitely be playing that here on this channel. Except for a school cross-country shirt with a tear in it. Oh, nice flavor text. Who's this bed for? There are CDs under the bed. Classical, jazz, religious, ska. There's also a game console. It has one normal controller and one knockoff one. Pretty, pretty normal. Okay. It's a red wagon with a rusty bird cage in it. Looks like it's seen quite a few crashes. That's odd. Closed drawer. Your bed. Who's this sinking bed for? Why is this sinking bed? This is, that's Frisk's bed. That's, that's Frisk's bed. Probably. Or am I Frisk? Who's that? Oh God. It's a beautiful day outside. Can't wait for everything to go wrong. Also, don't think I don't notice this little Legend of Zelda Easter egg right here, Toby Fox. I appreciate you, you're a beautiful man. Does it say anything different when I look underneath? Nope. Alright. It's a computer desk. There are many boxes under it filled with old books. Well, on that note, I think I'm going to just end my character right here, right on top of the Triforce and the fairies. And I am going to bid you all a farewell for now. Thank you for joining me for starting the beginning of Delta Rune, this demo that Toby Fox just released. And I hope to see you in the next video because I'm going to be playing this demo to its fullest and most complete extent. At least I think it's a demo. So until next time, remember, every video is a party and you're always invited to the next one. Thank you and have a good night.